Hey guys, welcome back to Dislight. In today's video, we are talking about Dahlia. Now, I have fallen in love with Dahlia. Watching this video, the first disclaimer that I have to say is, I am not saying that Dahlia is the best character in the game. You must build her, anything like that. If you look on tier lists that other people have made, she doesn't actually rank very high. However, me personally, one, I love her design. Two, I absolutely love her kit. It just, it suits my style of play. And three, she has made my Kronos teams 100% successful. I have not failed once since I've got her done about 120 runs, have not failed once. Uh, and also she's great for my PVP team. So uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm at the stage of love with her. Uh, you know, I may fall out of this, uh, this, this childish love, but I just think she's got a sick design, sick abilities. I love everything about her. I love the color palette, the, the outfit's sick, the ability Abilities are awesome. She's great. Like I'm actually really enjoying her for like campaign pushing and tower pushing as well. The way she can cycle through. So let's go through her skills. She to get her, you do get her through the Ripple Dungeon. You cannot summon her in a normal summon. So if you want to get her, you got to get your friends list active, get in an active guild, watch chat. Anytime you see a Ripple proc, get in there. Now with her ripple, you do need 40 pieces, but you do get eight pieces per ripple. So you only, only need to get into five ripples with her to actually summon her. And let's take a look at her kit. Once again, just reiterating, not saying she's the best character ever, not saying everyone should go out and build her, but I just want to show you how I'm using her. And if you like it, you can go do it too, because I know a lot of people don't like her as much, but man, I'm in love. So let's check it out. So this ability is sick. Now I, I I tested her quickly in one Chronos run without skill ups, and and then like I saw the potential if she had the, the cooldown reductions, and I was like I I just have to do it. So I max skilled her. Um, you know, we'll talk about that in a minute. So this ability. At max skill, grants 25% AP boost to all allied espers and attack up and crit rate up for two turns. This is really nice. I'll talk about arena cleaving later on. I did get myself an Odin. So cleave is the kind of thing I want to do because she has a strip with a defense break. It's really nice. Cleave is going to be what I do in arena. But we'll talk about that in a minute. But this for in PvE modes is really nice. She, you, you just relic her tanky and fast. Eventually down the road, I will build her for damage and fast. But right now, I just want her as fast as possible and as tanky as possible because I'm leaving her at five star. That's the basic gist of what I'm doing. So that's that one. This ability number two, attacks an enemy three times, each hit dealing damage equal to 50% of attack, 70% uh, chance of inflicting slow, uh, speed down for two turns. If the enemy is already inflicted with speed down, inflicts freeze for one additional turn. So this goes down to a two turn cooldown. Now this ability I really do like in tower, in campaign, all that stuff, because normally what I can do with her, because I'm using Li Ling who has an AOE uh, turn, uh, AP stick, Deal, she can normally get two turns before the enemy moves. So whichever the most threatening enemy is, I also get to freeze them, which is really, really nice. So that's super handy. And then the basic attack deals damage to an enemy equal to 110% attack, 50% chance of inflicting stun for one turn. Another CC, not as reliable. You can't you can't 100% rely on this one, but it's nice if it procs. Now, I would much rather her kit if this had like attack break on it. It would make us so much better for Kronos and stuff like that. But this could be clutch. Maybe when we get guild battles and stuff like that, I can see her being really meta for that kind of stuff. But... Like I said, for Kronos specifically, amazing. Now her leader skill is for points war. So, you know, you can't use that in dungeons, unfortunately. If this was a dungeon leader skill, it'd be really cool. Um, for the, for the, the Kronos reason, it's, you, you might get away without Gabriel. And keep in mind, like I've only been farming it for like two days. So my relics aren't even the best, but this is sick. So this, she gets your team cycling really hard. She provides the extra damage to your damage dealers. And then this on top, it does do a speed down. So it gives you a slow for the boss. So you got boosting your team, getting more turns, getting more damage, and then also slowing the boss. Really, really nice. So I'll show you the relics that I've got. I've got her on my fastest set of relics. So she's at 124 plus speed, uh, which is really nice. She does also, if we go to Ascension, she does get a plus 10 speed at max Ascension. So that is really nice as well. But the relics I've got her on is the the Windwalker set, and these are broken because these are the ones. This one had a twelve speed roll, uh, and this one has a eight speed roll with a main stat, so it's not too bad. I'm trying to get that one to fifteen, but I'm out of gold. Uh, this one has a twelve speed HP bonus. This one has HP bonus. This one's got no speed, but uh, it's only plus three. But you know, I'm I'm waiting for a good replacement for this one with more speed on it. Uh, that one's got 12 speed and that one's got four speed. So, you know, I'm just using my fastest set. That's more for PVP, but it also helps out in PVE. So I wanted to jump into my Chronos team, show you my Chronos team. Now this can do it in sub two minutes and it's still a fairly balanced team that's incredibly reliable.
reliable. So we'll just jump in here and have a look. Uh, challenge. Now, the team that I'm using, I'm still using Gabriel as the leader. I just want to play it safe with the HP. I could go to an attack leader and probably do it quicker, but I don't want to lose any reliability. Uh, then we got Lin. Obviously, Lin's just an absolute beast. I will test this without Lin with different characters in the future, but this is just my farming team. Then obviously, we have Dahlia, who's like I said, I'm in love with. Uh, then we have Li Ling as our secondary damage dealer. And then we do have Helena. Now, I've left Helena in here kind of for a meme because everyone hates her, but, uh, you know, I... I I like her. Uh, but uh, also she has the crit buff. So we've got two characters with crit buff, which allows us to, you know, try and maintain that crit buff. The other thing with Helena is that she does have the turn gauge reduction on her second skill, uh, but also her heal is like perfect for Kronos in my opinion. Once again, don't build Helena because 90% of people will tell you I'm stupid for building her. It's for the memes. But... Her heal does a massive heal on a single target and then tops everyone else off. And the Kronos, his main attack, he d attacks everyone, does a bit of damage, and then drops a rock on someone that does massive damage. So she can top off an ally that's at like 1% health and fully top them off, whilst also topping off the rest of the team. I just like the way her team, her heal works for these situations. Um, so let's jump in and let's do a battle and I'll just show you the team going through, and then we'll talk about why I'm, where I'm using her in PvP uh, and the sort of synergies that I'm working on. My PvP team still sucks because I don't have it speed tuned, I don't have enough relics upgraded, I don't have the right characters built, but I'll show you what I'm sort of working towards. So that, that attack buff, really, really nice in these early stages. Um, it, it's, it's just so valuable. So there we go. So now she's going to have her, because she used three turns, she should have her ability ready on this turn again. So now we get the attack buff straight away and the crit buff. Super nice. We run into some more AoEs. We can clear the waves really fast. Now, eventually we could drop, like once I get better relics and more damage dealers built up to six star, like I, I can drop Helena and I can drop Gabriel and we can go to try and kill the boss before he even gets a turn. So that's something that I will eventually work on. But right now, the way stamina is, there's no point in building fast teams because you, I run out of stamina in like four hours anyway so it doesn't really matter but hopefully they can uh, adjust that and we, we can have some fun with that but here at the boss like I said I've never failed at the boss sometimes I only like have two characters left but normally we're pretty fine so we're gonna buff that attack straight up miss the defense break miss the speed slow the cool thing about missing the speed slow with my Lin is now we can apply the speed slow here with her which is really really handy I absolutely love that uh, we've got the defense buff now, so nothing's going to hit us too hard. The boss has the attack break. We got the defense buff. We're pretty sweet. Gabriel's just really nice. We've got a balanced team. We've got a lot of speed involved, but then we just got that reliability. So there's that heal coming in. Now, if we didn't have the defense buff and the, the boss didn't have the attack break, that's when we could have got really hurt, um, and that heal would have been really clutch from Helena. Um, and there she goes, getting double resisted, which sucks. I've got a bunch of accuracy on her I think but you know getting resisted these things happen now this skill won't kill us and we should cycle through turns and get Helena to have another heal before the boss actually uh gets to have another attack so we should be fine so Helena use a basic attack here her next one will be a heal um and then we should be fine and we should be topped off after that so the boss is slowed so we're gonna overtake we're gonna do that we're gonna get the heal up once again everybody pretty well topped off and then we're going to probably kill the boss before he gets to move again. So that is the team. Like I said, just, it's probably not the, the number one unit that everyone should build. But for a free-to-play option that everyone can get, once you've got a reliable team and you know, you've know you got some relic upgrades and you're trying to speed up your team a bit, she's really nice for it. But there we go. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? No, you suck. That sucks. Anyway, but the other thing. So this was this was a secondary reason that I built her. Like I didn't plan on using her in Kronos. That just happened. The reason I was building her was for Arena. So in Point War, uh, because basically because I got Raven, um, I, I'm going for Cleave. Let's see. You don't have a speed leader. Hopefully I can outspeed you. I think this guy does outspeed me with his Unus, but we'll go in and see. So basically, if I don't outspeed someone, I lose is pretty much where it is. And my team is not speed sync. So the idea is having her really fast. I need to get a speed leader. So I'm trying to get Medusa from the guild shop. Um, but yeah, so the idea is she goes first, boost my team, and then I can strip with Raven um, and put defense break on. And then I can just basically clean up with my damage dealers. Now my team isn't speed tuned, so she can move first, but then the enemy team can cut in. I've just got to work on relics. I don't have the greatest relics yet, but that's the basic gist. For the, for the cleave teams you want a turn burn a turn bar booster 
you want an attack buff, uh, you want a strip, you want a defense break, you want the strip just in case they have immunity, um, you want the defense break, and then you want some damage to follow it. Now, I leave Gabriel in there because I don't have any other options. The other thing with Gabriel is she does have a defense break, or I can play with the immunity and defense depending on the enemy team. So let's jump in. Hopefully, he doesn't outspeed me. He doesn't have the speed leader, and I've got pretty decent relics for this stage of the game, so hopefully we can outpace. So we do outpace. So we are going to overtake the Unus with Gabriel. I don't think we're going to overtake the Unus with my strippers so we'll, we'll, we'll see how this plays out so let's go with this okay i think we will i don't know i don't know he does have loki who has a strip uh so i'm tempted like okay so basically my lin is going to get overtaken so this is where my speed tuning is bad so lin will not go fast enough which sucks so what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to buff my defense try and weaken some attacks he is going to he oh yeah we'll see we'll see how we go he, he's going to remove my buffs, though, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, does he does he cleanse the, their team? See, she she has a cleanse of the team. Um, so this is going to be kind of annoying because I was going to put buff blocker on. Maybe I'll put buff blocker on to stop them getting the immunity from Unus. So let's do that. So the Unus, like I said, was going to cut in front of me. Uh, okay, so we, we blocked two, so they missed out on their immunities. They can do what they want. We're pretty well safe here. We're pretty well safe. So now, now we can go for our cleave. A couple of them have immunity, but we should be pretty fine. And then we can clean up the rest. Now, like I said, I don't have my team fully tuned. That's why I still leave my, um, what's her face in there? My Gabriel, because like sometimes I just need to buff defense and survive because my, my speed, I need to make my damage dealers faster. But that is the general idea. She's really handy for a free to play cleave team if you want to go down that road. Um, but yeah, that is Dahlia. I'm absolutely loving Dahlia. I think she's fantastic. Um, you know, just I, I, I'm always a fan of free to play units that have some sort of use. And she's a free to play unit and I'm getting some really fun use out of her. So I'm loving it. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.